Hey, welcome back to the channel and today we're delving into the world of wake surfboards. Now, whether you're a seasoned pro or you're just getting your feet wet, wake surfing is an awesome sport and in this breakdown, you're going to wrap your head around all the different shapes, sizes and constructions of wake surfboards. thing we want to talk about when we are discussing wake surfboards is size. Now this is absolutely crucial that we have the correct size not only for your weight but your boat size, uh, so your boat wave size and as well as your ability level. Those are the three main factors that we take into consideration when sizing our wake surfboards. So with our skill level bigger boards are easier for more beginners as well as bigger people and smaller boat wakes. This is due to a bigger board being more stable, having more volume and push. Now, adversely, our more advanced riders can go to a smaller board. This will make the board a little bit more reactive. Also for our bigger wake, uh, our bigger surf waves, we can go to a smaller board because that wave is gonna have more push, uh, more energy. We don't have to have as much volume under our feet to stay on the wave. Now we just discussed our size of board, but the next uh, most important question that we have to ask ourselves is the style of board that we wanna go for. Now we have three main styles that we sell here. We have our traditional surf style board, then we have our skim boards, and then finally is our hybrid boards. So starting off with our traditional surf boards, these are characterized by a thicker, fuller surf style rail. They have a fish or surfboard outline and they typically run a thruster or quad fin setup. Now, what this produces is a nice carvy stable board. So it's gonna have those slow carvy surf style cutbacks. It's gonna be really stable with other thruster or quad fin setup. And then it's gonna have plenty of drive from that fish or that surfboard tail. Now, the next style of board that we're gonna talk about are our skim boards. So the characteristics and features we see on these boards that set them so far apart from a traditional surfboard are the flat rocker. So that's gonna give you a lot of top water speed and a lot of glide speed. Then we have our pin tails with our single fins. So the pin tail with a single fin is gonna make it really loose and skatey, more suited to doing your 360s and more your advanced surface tricks. We can get skimmers with a thruster fin set up as well for your more beginner intermediate riders. And then finally, you've got this really hard rail. Now what this rail does, it makes it nice and playful, but it also gives you the lift and the drive on the wave. Because we don't have a really wide surf style tail that gives us drive, we have to rely on this really aggressive sharp rail. So we've touched on our surf style boards and our skim style boards. We now have our hybrids. What is a hybrid? Well, a hybrid combines the elements of both a skim board and a surf board to create a board that's the best of both worlds. So boards that we typically see in a hybrid style are a surf style outline with a skim rail. Now what this is gonna do is give you that board that drives off the back of the foot for those big surf style cutbacks, but it gives you a little bit more contact with water during, due to that skim rail. Then adversely, we have our skim profiles with a surf rail. This is gonna create that nice loose skim board that you guys like, but have it sit a little bit higher in the water and feel a little bit more floaty and a little bit carvier. Hybrids are a fantastic option if you can't make up your mind between a surf style and a skim style board. In terms of the fins, we can run a bunch of different fin options from single fin all the way through to our thrusters. So if you can't make up your mind, go a hybrid board. They're just a good all round board. So let's dive into the construction of our wake surfboards. Now this is really going to determine how well your board performs and how durable your board is as well. So starting off, we've got our soft top foamy boards. These are a fantastic option for beginners um, and absolute greenies to the sport. Because if you fall off and the board goes into the boat, you're not going to damage your board or your boat. Um, you're going to just keep the dings and nicks off it a little bit nicer. They're a fiberglass board with that foam soft top, nice and durable. You then move on to your compression molded boards. Like our wake boards is our fiberglass sandwich. So fiberglass with foam in the middle compressed. This is gonna make a nice, durable, strong board that sits a little bit deeper in the water, but it's at a fantastic budget price. 
We then move on to Enduro Shell. These are a fantastic value for money board. Um, they have that high-end EPS foam core with an Enduro Shell. So you've got that high-end performance from the EPS, but then you have the durability of a compression molded board. So just a fantastic option all around. In our high-end boards, we see EPS foam boards and carbon fiber boards. Now, the benefit of these two, they are super responsive and very lightweight. So you're gonna get the absolute best performance out of these boards. However, EPS boards are very, very fragile. So you have to be very careful when handling these boards in your board racks um, or around the boat as they do ding and scratch very, very easily. Our carbon fiber boards are still pretty durable. They have a carbon fiber laminate with a foam core. They're not too bad. They, you still don't wanna drop them at all. But in terms of the downside of going to a carbon fiber board is that price tag. They are in our higher end price range. Wake surfing is an awesome sport, can be done by any person in the family at any skill level. However, a lot of people think you need a half million dollar wakeboard boat to get that surf wave out the back. This just isn't true. We sell a massive range of ballast bags and wake enhancing devices so that you can get out behind your 2009 Malibu response with a shaper and some ballast bags and have an absolute rip behind your boat. So come see our friendly staff in our Brisbane store and we'll set you up with wake shapers, ranges of ballast bags to suit boats of all shapes and sizes. Alrighty, so that is our breakdown on wake surfboards. We hope that this cleared the air with all the different shapes, sizes, and constructions of wake surfboards that are out there, and hopefully you land on the right one. Now, make sure you check out our wake surf bias guide and our how-to instructional videos on how to set up your wake surfboard and how to get up on a wake surfboard as well. We'll catch you guys next time. Stay safe out on the water.